Hi everyone, this is Dr. Justin Lin over at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. Thanks for coming to watch this segment. Today we're going to talk about walking and walking correctly. Now walking is an important everyday function thing that we do. We walk, roughly we're supposed to walk about 10,000 steps to be healthy. That's roughly around 3 to 4 miles. But 10,000 steps is pretty good. But even if you're not, most of us are walking about 1,000 steps per day. So that's the most repetitive thing you're going to do to your body. You're going to break down your back, you're going to break down your hips, knees, ankles, the whole thing. And actually, there's been lots of studies for people with TMJ and headaches, the link of poor walking mechanics and linked to these headaches and, and neck problems. So, very important, I want you guys to listen closely about changing some of the way you, you normally think about walking. So what we're going to focus on here is the glute area. I want you really to concentrate this. This, your hips absorb about three times your body weight. Your knees about seven times your body weight. So your hips really need to do their job. Otherwise your knees, your ankles have more stress. Very important. So we want to be able to push off. A lot of people think military and they're thinking the nutcracker and they want to move their front leg forward more than, than they should. But really, it should be thinking about the hind leg. I want all you guys to think about the hind leg being able to push off, being able to push off through the back leg, and that will force the other leg to go forward. So you don't even have to really think about the front leg. I want you guys to think about the back leg. So once again, it's the back leg to push, not the front leg to lead. I want you to really take and flip that paradigm a little bit. Very important concept here that I had to revolutionize and rethink for, for my patients. But the next thing very important is arm swing. Some of you ladies are holding handbags, purses, whatever. They're really, or, or backpacks, or even strapping a lot, of, a lot of folks down. So arm swing is very important because what that happens there, uh, what happens there for arm swing is actually a counter torque in that abdomen. That's going to force this hip or the opposing hip to to come to come up, and that's free assistance. You don't have to fight your own body at all. You don't want to fight your body because if you're walking like this, you're going to fight your own body. But if you walk with a little bit of this hip rotation, is what we call it, this little hip elevation, you're going to save your your body from a lot of breakdown. You're going to save your body from a lot of stresses, and it's just going to save you energy overall to be efficient. So once again, review, we're going to push off and you're going to throw that opposite leg, uh, throw the opposite leg and opposite arm forward. So now I'm going to do this in real time, okay? Right here, we're going to push. All right, I'm going to throw my arm like this. It's the opposite leg, opposite arm. Push off, push, push, push. Now I have a bunch of patients generally holding their, their bottom, bottoms. You know, they want to use their buttocks. Now, in order to feel that, you got to make sure you're doing it. So you're going to push, 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 push. Make sure that muscle's engaged. Because if you go back to your old, old way of walking, I bet you're going to feel more in your front muscles. And that's usually because you're thinking about having that lead. And what happens, if you can see, I'm leaning forward. I put more stress in the anterior or front muscles and that's what we're using all constantly every day sitting so i really this is very important i want you guys to really change and shift that paradigm a little bit about how you walk and you're going to save yourself from a lot of chronic injuries thank you